five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. See that? It says the Ramble. It says Alex. And below it, you see the most infected city in the entire world. And my name is Alex Bennett, and I will be here until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. So mark that down. <laughs> Who knows why? I don't know. Got a good show for you. We'll have a citizen panel in a little bit, but uh, for, I guess, the beginning of the show, as we've been doing each and every night, uh, we like to uh, go over and uh, let me see here. Let me uh, get this ready to go. Take a look at the map. There we go. There's the world map, ladies and gentlemen. See all those places in red? Those are places coronized. Gee, I just thought up a new term. Total confirmed in the world, 3,193,827 cases of COVID. Now, by the way, uh, let's not consider that to be an accurate number because it could be far more than that. There are a lot of numbers we don't count. There are people who get it, who die at home, and then we just uh, say they died of pneumonia or something like that. These are confirmed cases, okay, confirmed cases cases they, yes they say they got bar mitzvah and later on and then they got confirmed i don't know anyway um look at that see the united states it's a mess although there is a you know kind of lightning right in this area and those are the people who are saying we don't want to stay inside anymore because you know well but you you're helping to make us sick okay so just stop it stop with your selfishness and we'll uh we'll uh, uh you know it's out later on okay now where are we okay united states let's go let's go to our important number because we're so obsessed with ourselves we're now up to one million thirty-eight thousand four hundred and fifty-one cases in the united states putting us well ahead of any other country in the world and that should make donald trump proud because he wants to know that we're number one even when it comes to disease okay the number of total deaths, ladies and gentlemen, there's the number right up there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. 60,897 deaths so far. Deaths in New York City, 18,076. Now, that is going down. It was uh, down about, by, oh, I don't know, about eight people today from what it was the day before. Uh, which isn't that good, but we are on a downward trend, and it looks like it's it's it is getting better. Okay, uh, Spain, uh, of course. So let's uh, take a look at Spain. Oh, come on, I hate this. I have trouble with this mouse occasionally. Spain. Okay, two hundred thirty-six thousand eight hundred ninety-nine. Twenty-four thousand two hundred seventy-five deaths. Okay. Per capita, I think that's larger, but I'm not sure. Somebody will have to do the math for me. Italy, 27,682 out of 2,003. So that's, uh, that's roughly, yeah, that could be a little over 10%. Uh, in, uh, in the United States, what is it? Is it 10% or what is it? What do we have here? And, uh, six, uh, no, we're well under 10%. We're somewhere around 6% of our population. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let me uh, let me get out of that. Okay, because it, I know it's really depressing. By the way, um, New Jersey, a lot of deaths over there, uh, and uh, we look at all the different states. The bottom of the list of the states is Louisiana. They only had 20 deaths. Here are a lot of states with 20, 21, so on. You know, but then you go up to us, man, and we're just we're just kicking ass here in New York. You know, so anyway, um, whatever. So I, yeah, 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 let me let me just say that they will. We'll talk about it later, but it looks like they may have come up with. I, I don't know if the word we're looking for here is uh, a cure, 
but we've we've found something. This the reservoir, reservoir, whatever it's called, which they found has in tests that they've been doing uh, tended to um, mitigate the uh, the disease. So maybe if I catch it now, they can save my life. Okay. But we'll talk about that later on in the show. Meanwhile, what I did yesterday is I, uh, the, I, I did something which was very dangerous. I left the apartment. Yeah. And I left the apartment with girlfriend. It's another one of our little trips around the neighborhood. I was, all we were doing is I was going to the pharmacy. That was my, my big adventure of going to the pharmacy, and I figured while we were at it, we would show you around this apartment so you could see why we're not particularly getting cabin fever and so you can get an idea of what it's all about. So let me take you back to yesterday and our wonderful adventure. This is the most exciting things have gotten in six weeks. Welcome now to the new normal. Hi. <laughs> that is uh, Marjorie, she is my uh, are, are we married? Do we, we're married. See, so we don't remember these a things because we're old. Long time. We're old. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, this is the new normal. First, show the refrigerator. Well, the refrigerator's emptying out because we got food last week. Yeah. But yeah. look at the freezer. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. We got lots of food in the freezer. Oh, All the way down there. Oh, boy. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. So we're taken care of. I right. mean, if if it suddenly becomes an absolute holocaust, we're good. We, we, we're we're good. We're good. Okay. And and now we're, what we're gonna do is I have to go down to the pharmacy to pick up my medicine because I'm an old person and I take you know what I used to do. I used to take one pill, and now I'm up to like about eight. We all are. That's you know. life. And I don't have that much wrong with me. Oh, by the way, there's my fuck you, Alex. Turn that light on. This is. Penn and Teller gave me this years ago, and somehow we've managed to Is that great? <laughs> managed to hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so, so and, then, uh, and and this is where we have been spending. I have not been out of this apartment for almost two and a half weeks. Yeah, this is twenty four seven with. And Alex. people say this how twenty four seven with Alex. How do you survive it? Well, first of all, for instance, off the kitchen here. <laughs> Stocking up. We have a pantry. Oh, by the way, here's more stuff. Look what we have. Paper towels. Oh, my God. Pellegrino. Uh, Pellegrino. We, we Pel must, two boxes of Pellegrino. But we mustn't forget this. We have, I'm down to eight bottles oh, of, I of my Pinot Grigio. Oh, okay. Maybe time yeah. for me to order. And here, look, I'm stocked up on my Diet Coke and my Snapple. That'll take care of me for here's a while. All our laundry products. Yeah, we're, and we're here's all our cleaning products. Yeah, but we the, the main thing is is the stuff we bought that we use for survival, and uh, it's it's pretty good. And then uh, so you know why we're not feeling cabin fever. This is our foyer, or as we call it, our decontamination room. Exactly. Because when we get boxes, we keep them in here for like two days. <laughs> And spray them and keep them in there. here for two days. And then we have our lovely living room. Here, show them our living room. See? And look at how high the ceilings are, right? Now, we're, we're fighting to stay here, by the way. Um, this is nose tissue, not toilet paper. Oh, okay. We have toilet paper. Yes, but we... Well, we'll show you that in a minute. This is the single ply. That's the single, single ply. single ply, double ply, and triple ply. Right. Triple and ply feels like a diaper. Yeah, I mean, it's it, too thick. It is, it is. And uh, it... Uh, but your finger doesn't go through it, and that's good. That's why I blow my nose with the single I ply. I see. So anyway, this is our living room, which is really nice. Okay, then, then we got a dining room. All right which we only use for eating. We should use it for other stuff, but we don't. No. You know? It's and, eating room. And uh, by the way, you notice we have a TV set here. Oh, God. Okay, and then you go here, and we have another TV set, and then you go into the kitchen, and we have another TV set, okay? So consequently, we have a lot of TV sets in this apartment house. Wait a minute. Hey, let's go down. Oh, this is our hall, by the You're way. You're not showing them any of the artwork, Alex. I did. 
Yeah, there's, there's, Marjorie did that. And Marjorie did that. Green. Yeah, it's green. Green, like this. She did, uh, she, did you do? You, both of them. Both of, both of these are yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. You see his name Miller on that? Yeah, that's her artwork. Nice work. Thank you. Nice work. You're Thank very good at it. Now show them the bedroom where there's no activity since I had my prostate operation. Uh, let me see here. Here's a hallway. And then we have the bedroom. Okay. And another TV set. Okay. So this is where we lie most of the day. Show them our view. Oh, and then, of course, we've got to show you the view. Let yeah. me open the window so you don't get no, no, no. I got all the fingerprints and oh, okay. headprints. Okay. There we go. There we go. There's our view. Isn't that a nice view? And look down. Well, you can't see it really from here, but there are not a lot of people on the street. At night when all the colors are on, it looks pretty. Okay. And then you go down the hallway and we have a guest room with, guess what? An another TV set. And, and a Miller. And a Miller. Oh, another Miller painting. And a Miller. Okay. Is that a Miller? That's a Miller, and that's a Miller, and that's, that's a, part that's of the screen. Miller. Yeah. Yeah, and that, uh, that, by the way, is a Amish quilt that I was given by somebody, which is very nice. And, of course, another TV set, and another kind of studio, computers, all of that. Let me see here. And finally, uh, we go in, and uh, we, uh, we have... Um, the office. The office. This is where I do the show from right here. And then Marjorie is over here. I get that little two square inches over there in the corner. That's my little spot. Maybe you, well, yeah, I guess so. You have one, two, three, four. And another TV set, by and the way. Another, TV, <laughs> another set. TV set. The only place we don't have a TV set is in the bathroom. Which we could use. Really? <laughs> Sitting. Here's our bathroom. Actually, the bathroom is quite small and undramatic compared to the rest of the apartment. Exactly. But again, look at the high ceilings. That's true. See, I mean, so we don't have cabin fever here. We just have cabin Alex and Marjorie. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go take a walk. We're going to take a walk actually down to the pharmacy and the supermarket. I'll go in. You'll stay outside. And if you're a good boy, we'll go by the bakery. Well, I don't know if I want to walk up to the bakery. But then we don't get croissants. Oh, well, I have a croissant every day. And my waistline is starting to expand. <laughs> yeah. Come so on, let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. So we're outside. Taking a walk. I, I, taking a walk. This is my first time out since uh, last Tuesday. This is my first time out in two and a half weeks. Wow. 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 And we're going, uh, you're, we're going to go to the pharmacy. Yeah, and then go to the bakery. We go to the bakery, but that's all the way up the other way. Yeah, it's one extra block. One extra block. Uh, well, the streets are kind of quiet. Yeah. There's nobody down this street. This street is like. There's a line for the grocery store. Not going to the store. Or if I, yeah, that's a line. Is that a line? Yeah. yeah, but it may be going fast. It's... Well, they let like 10 in at a time. Yeah. What's happening at our ATM, I wonder? Your ATM. My ATM. Your ATM's all the way up the other way. Yeah, across the street from the bakery. Let me see here. Hey, nah pretty normal and most people have masks on it's required now yeah well that guy doesn't have one yeah. where do they get masks though you can get them for free you just go to a walk-in put a scarf around your face That probably works just as well. But look how empty the streets are, really. This is usually a very busy yeah. street with traffic. Maybe I will go in now. I'll meet you here. 
Okay, I'll go to the pharmacy. And pick up mine. Is there anything you want in there besides avocados? Avocados, my bread, eggs. Eggs? Eggs. I put them on the list. Anyway, she's going into the grocery store. I've never, I haven't been in there. This is the new, sh the new shopping. Okay, and I'm going up to the pharmacy now. Thought I'd let you see how I look all dolled up. I've got my mask, I've got my gloves. And I'm going up to the pharmacy to get my pharmacy stuff. My pills, my medicine. Because there were some that I, you know, ordered today. Those are here. Okay, so they're about, yeah, okay. Boy, that's sure cheaper than I used to pay. That's why I used to pay. It's less than I used to pay for a month's worth. That's less than, that's less than I used to pay for a month's worth at, uh, in the old days when I go to like, you know, CBS or some place yeah. like that. Okay, get, uh, can you get, it, get it through there? Okay. Hey, keep safe and have a, have a good day. What happened? 25 people have come out. I counted them. He hasn't let us in yet. Oh, really? So, so, uh, so we might as well go in. I mean, it should be any second. What do you think? Yeah, I'll wait for you. Yeah. It's really easy up at the. Uh... Well, there's no one there. Yeah. <laughs> so there. Yep. Now this, this is a testing center here. Yeah. Look, they got the tents and everything. And people are waiting to be tested for COVID-19, except us. Look at this. across the street is for a grocery store. Marjorie's going in here to get croissants. There she goes. I will stay out here. Look what she scored. Oops, my finger's getting in the way. Look at what she scored. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Croissant. Croissant. What you need? How lovely. We're not... see the going around the corner. Yeah, I know the blinds going around the corner for the uh, for best yet market. I was wondering what was wrong with your market. That they weren't letting you in. No. But apparently there was a long line. The checkout. I counted 27 people coming out. Wow. Well, we're on our way going back home. Uh -huh. We've come to the end of our journey. I'm exhausted. I don't know what the light is on. Yeah. And here we are, home, back again. And then we'll go through the big the decontamination, including a shower. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, let me 
see here, that's our trip. Here we go with the ritual. <laughs> And that's our whole day out. I am now uh, out of breath this and is, exhausted, this and, is but stage, exercised. This is stage one. Yeah. And then we go to stage two. And I'm going to sign off now so I can do the whole ritual myself. Anyway, that's our little trip. And you notice how out of breath I was? Uh, and it, it turned, I think the reason I was out of breath is... I haven't had any exercise in how many weeks now? Six weeks? You know, so I am, I was just, I, I, I was, I was, uh, I was huffing and puffing. I, I, I was amazed. Um, I don't feel short of breath most of the rest of the day, but uh, let me see here. Where's the Skype? Um, you know, uh, it, uh, it, 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 no exercise for several weeks, but now I'm going to have exercise because girlfriend bought an exercise machine, which we'll show you maybe uh, tomorrow night or the day afterwards. She, she can give you a, 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 a kind of an idea of what it's about, all right? Anyway, uh, oh, uh, Jack forgot to turn off the uh, Skype last night. Oh, bad boy, bad boy. Anyway, um, we're ready for you to call. And uh, let me see here. Let me turn this down so that uh, um, when they do call, it won't blast you out. Um, as we, uh, as we, uh, here we go. Here comes Charlene. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Charlene is always the, Whenever she is going to call, she's always the first one. Let's see here. Brian Neary is calling. And uh, let me see here. Let me try and uh, get the people. Uh, yeah, get people in here. Let's see here. Brian Neary. Okay. And then uh, let's see here. We got to go with uh, Charlene Martinez, who I think is that one because she doesn't put her name in there, so it makes it difficult for me. Uh, here comes Charlie Wallace. We're going to, so far, uh, you guys are doing it at a speed that I can deal with. Let me see. Let me wait until I see Charlie Wallace's picture. Then I can uh, give him a slot here. There we go. Ba -bum -bum. And Charles Wallace. Okay, Charlie, there you go. And then uh, Phil Meyer is going to be in the. Uh, let me let me put these people over here. Uh, Phil Meyer is going to be in the number four slot. Uh, let me see here. Charlie was in the fourth slot last night, but tonight he beat Phil to the punch. Boy, there we go. Okay, uh, let me see here. Let me uh, do a little transition here. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got Brian Neary. We got Charlie Martinez. We got Charlie Wallace. And we got uh, Phil Meyer. Hello, uh, hello, gang. How are you this evening? Hey. Yeah. Good. Well, that's good for a start. At least everybody didn't gang bang up on me all at once. Either that or I'm just getting better at this. What are you, what are you wearing? One of these stylish ones there, Charlene? No, no, this is, um, I, I'm going crazy. I've had bandanas, and I sent away for all these, the ones that you tie, and they go around your ears, but I haven't gotten any of them. Mm. Uh, like, uh, that, is that the, so popular, uh, I guess. Uh, Charlene, so I'm waiting for the uh, FedEx and the UPS, and they aren't delivering. Charlene, <laughs> is that the new fashion for Robin liquor stores in New Jersey? Right, I know. <laughs> Everyone looks like they're going to rob something. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I, I asked these guys, they said there were these fishing things, but I was in Home Depot and they it's like a cooling thing for your neck. And I grabbed it on the way out and it's working out good. It's better that you don't have to tie it. You just slip it over your head. Yeah. And then you pull it up like this. Oh, okay. And it's good enough that I, you know, I'm passing the code and, you know, I'm covering everything. So I think this is going to work for a while now. you got to figure out which one is Jeff. Huh? And look, you want to see what there else I got? Are. Look. What? <laughs> it's a big jumbo. <laughs> oh, oh, well, if I if I showed you our closet here, it's full of TP. Yeah. Order. Yeah. I guess kids aren't going to be toilet papering people's homes at Halloween this year because right, right. it's too costly. 
Oh, forget it. We're having Halloween now with all the masks and everything, right? We, yeah. Forget we, about Halloween. Masks. You know, I, it's funny. When I was going around doing that video yesterday, nobody said, don't shoot me. Yeah. Because they didn't yeah. care. Yeah, no, fun. You couldn't recognize anybody, right? And by the way, the thing that you didn't see because I, I was screwing up with my camera and everything is that Marjorie never did get into the, into the um, uh, grocery store. Because they just kept them waiting out there. I went all the way up to the pharmacy, and I came all the way back, and yeah, she was so still waiting in line. Uh, and so we just said to hell with it, and we just went up and got croissants and came home. You know, so. You know, Alex, the steady cam on that camera when I was watching what you're doing was great. Well, that's, that's uh, the iPhone. That's the latest I know. iPhone. It's got like a built in steady cam on the new ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just been around for. Oh, that, really? Yeah. The, that the newest ones. I think they actually have had them for a while now, even the, the year before I bought mine. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's really, it's really just, you know, perfect. I got I got this one right after you got yours, Alex. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Seven. Oh, that, well, that's, well, no, that's a, that's a GoPro. Yeah. Right that, when you got yours, I got this one. Yeah, the, go, uh, the GoPro a also has a steady cam in it as well, but my iPhone, this thing, is uh, what I shot yeah. that with. And the reason I shoot it with this is it's just easier for me to get the stuff off of the off of the. Um, uh, oh, rather the than camera. use a card. Yeah. Also, I think uh, this is the battery will last longer here than the GoPro will. But you know, I may shoot the next one with a GoPro. It's just I like the sound better on this. Uh, it's just all, all the way around. It's just better for doing those quick little uh, little jaunts outside. You know, <laughs> and uh, so. Um, uh, so it looks like this Redesivir, is it? Redesivir. Right? Redesivir. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce. How do you pronounce? Uh, Brian, how do you pronounce it? Do you know? I don't know. Remdesivir. Remdesivir. It's really Vicks cough drops. Yeah. Actually, another one they're trying is uh, what? Is, what's the uh, the uh, uh, stuff for your gut? Um, oh, oh, the. Uh, Oh, over the counter. An acid? Uh, yeah. yeah, an acid. Yeah, an acid. Pepsid. Pepsid. Yeah. There's something it in it's it, it's not if you take Pepsid it's going to cure you, but it, they it's a, a component that's in Pepsid that they're testing. But they said if you've been taking it, you have yeah. it, you know, it's good that you've been taking it, it's better like or something, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't yeah know. It's own but remember it's it's only if you have it. <clears throat> And it'll cut down the days. So they say from 15, they're tested uh, 15 days down to 11 days. So four And they didn't want to announce it because they thought everyone was going to start going and buying it and it would be not on the shelves or something when they announced it or something. Alex, yeah. how many yeah. bottles do you have in that closet? That's uh, 27. <laughs> 27. No, no, actually. I forgot to check when I went out. Okay, okay, Charlene. Okay. Um, the... Um, uh, but this revisadir or whatever it's called, I don't know. Uh, supposedly it's working. That's what they're saying. Uh, and it is, it is taking a bad case. They say when people have it bad, it's taken it and brought it down. So uh, they're thinking that at least it's not a cure. It's just a, what do you, what do you call it? It's not a cure. It's a knockdown. Yeah, it, it, they say it'll, it'll shave four days off, and they say it doesn't sound like much, but it's really big when you have people on ventilators, and you have people on different, you know, different situations. The four days does does yeah. help a lot. So, so really, this could get them off the ventilators, right? At least sooner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, you know, I, it, it, if we can get something. That, yeah. you know, if you get it, they say, here, we're going to give you this, and they give it to you, and it then turns the whole thing around. You go home, you sneeze a little bit, and that's it. We're back in business again, you know, but it, it's it's not going to be until we get that, that kind of thing available to us that we're going to be able to, uh, um, you know, uh, you know uh, get back to normal. Otherwise, we're still up. Crabs Creek, as it were. Let me see here. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for Tony. Hold on, Tony, 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 Pony, banana, banana, Pony. Uh, ba, 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 webhead. There he is. There we go. All right. Uh, there's Tony, and uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. So the other, 
the other good thing about that is at least they're on a path to find something. I mean, they say even if this just shaves down a few days, at least they sort of understand it a little bit better and they can yeah. start really diving into that. But you know what you don't need to do? You don't need to wear the surgical masks anymore uh, because the head of our Corona task force doesn't. <laughs> no. And so we don't need to, you know. Um, so... Uh, Stupid hmm? too. Every time you say him, he well, looks like he's like totally like blank. Oh, you mean? Like, you mean? I call. I call looks it, like I, the dumb I, guy from yeah. the from the smoking the bed. Remember Jackie Gleason, the dumb son? Yeah. Well, I he he yes, the, the Pence uh, Pence looks like is Trump's shadow. I call him. He's just always behind him. You know. Puppet. Uh, puppet. Yeah. It, 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 Trump should put his fist up his ass. He might like it actually. Yeah. <laughs> Not realize it. Uh, yes, yes, Charlene. You know, I was out today, you know, in the cleaning aisle and stuff, and I heard somebody ask the guy in the Home Depot, where was the Lysol cleaner? And I had to hold myself back because I, I thought they wouldn't appreciate it if I said, wow, I guess a lot of people uh, must have drank it or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to hold myself back <laughs> uh, because ask, I think I would have gotten in trouble. <laughs> did he ask for the injectable? Right. Did you have any of the injectable Lysol available? Yeah. Um, there was not on the shelf. Yeah. But it, it's, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we're, uh, this is, this is getting, it, what, what's getting me a little crazy are these, these people who are um, suddenly deciding that they've really got to, uh, they want to get out and this is all horrible and this is against <clears throat> their civil rights and all of that. And, and I have to say, uh, I'm 80 years old, and you're violating my civil rights if you don't shelter in place, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot, a lot uh, of the stuff I'm seeing on Facebook <clears throat> are like, we have, you know, like down near Kevin, mm -hmm. right? So we have all the, the workers down there, you know, in the fields. Mm -hmm. They say, well, why aren't they getting sick? And, you know, why aren't these groups, why aren't people at Walmart or, or Home Depot getting sick? And I said, well, if, if, you're, if your side really feels that way, why isn't Trump telling everybody to get back to work? You know, he, he's, not, he's not. Well, he's telling, you know what he's doing? He's telling the, uh, the meat people to get back to work. Yeah. That's and that's absolutely, saying, right? that's absolutely yeah. stupid because those are the people who have jobs which are very close to each other. You know, that you, it's very difficult to create a, a, a space in. Uh, so you know, I, I uh, you know, I find that kind of not a good idea to go ahead and tell him. He, he and he actually, what he did is, you know, he hasn't been using this. What's it called? The defense something something, where yeah, he, the power that defense he, power. Yeah, yeah, he that did defense it on the, on the uh, meat plants, but he wouldn't do it in the uh, the yeah. the PPE. Right, right. He didn't need to. Yeah. What do you mean he didn't need to? Why didn't he need to? Phil? They, Produced it on their own. They they didn't need to be threatened to do it. Yeah, but 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 he's using it to force these people to go back into these meat packing lines, which is pure suicide. You no, know, you have a personal interest in that, uh, since you're on Atkins. Uh, you know, if the <laughs> supply dries up. Yeah. Uh, so does hey, the president. I, he I, wants his Kentucky Fried Chicken and his oh, hamburgers. He likes McDonald's. And you're going to be eating croissants, and you're going to be 350 pounds before you. <laughs> well, I I don't care. I would rather you know, see these people live than die, you know, and and cutting up meat. I mean, this has got to be a great day for vegans. You know, they're so happy that these people aren't able to produce meat. The only thing is. And the only sad thing about it is, is that because they they can't produce this pork, the pigs that are out there are being slaughtered and just buried. They're being they're yeah. being decimated because they can't keep the mm -hmm. amount of people, yeah. you know, amount of pigs that they have. So it's clogging up the supply chain. Same thing with uh, chickens, and the same thing with uh, with um, with beef. Um, so I mean, this is and and I I went online today to, because I'm getting a delivery from Costco on Friday. So I have up until Thursday or until this person starts shopping to add to the list and so on. So I went online uh, to Costco. To begin with, Costco jacks up the price when you're, when you're doing it by sending somebody <laughs> in to get it, okay? Uh, they're, well, really, they they're really they're really taking advantage of the situation. Anyway, 
I don't see how that because could be a block that. of cheese that I usually buy for twelve dollars is now fifteen online. Okay, but anyway, the point I'm making is is that um, I uh, I went to look to see if they what kind of meat they might have. You know, maybe I'll have some meat. Well, to begin with, what there was was prohibitively expensive. I mean, I, it was the prices that you normally paid for the prime you were paying for the choice, okay? And there wasn't very much meat. They said, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Same thing with chicken, out of stock, out of stock, oh, out of stock. Yes, Kevin. I, I got news for you. I actually, oh. Faye, Faye went to Safeway today, and she said there were, there were no vegetables. There, were no, there was no produce, uh, that the shelves were uh, pretty much empty. And uh, so yeah. probably Kevin's going to say the same thing. Go ahead, hey, Kevin. Kevin. No, I actually uh, decided on Tuesday that I was going to go to the old guy's Costco day mm -hmm. yeah. uh, today. Oh, and I got up early this morning and I went to old guy's Costco hours at 8 o'clock this morning down here in Gilroy. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I got in line and the line was pretty damn long. And I got behind this Mexican guy and he said... Uh, Oh, I've been coming here every two weeks. And I said, well, I've been here for almost two months, so I don't know the story now. And, um, you know, here and he goes, oh, yeah, you, there's like 72 people in line here. It's going to take us 10 minutes to get in and blah, blah, blah. He gave me the whole rundown. I said, oh, well, that's not too bad, you know. So they opened up the door. I'll tell you, it was the best Costco experience I ever had. <laughs> I, I got in line. We got up there. We got about halfway through the line. They stopped. Mm -hmm. We waited about another two minutes. I got up there. I was the last one in. They cut it off after I went in. There was, you know, there was people in the store, but it wasn't crowded. There weren't people bumping into me. I went in. There was a limit on the chicken. I got my three bags of chicken. All right. I went over. I got my toilet paper. I got my paper towels. Then I walked through the store. They had almost everything I wanted, except, you know, the Lysol and the wipes and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I got everything I wanted. I walked out of there with a $400 bill, but <laughs> I got everything I needed for the next, you know, month and a half, two months. And I went, crap, I don't have to come back here for another two months. And when you got up to the line, they wouldn't, you know, you get up to the line, you stay six feet away from the belt, and then they unload your cart. They would... They wouldn't let you near it until the next customer got out of the way, which mm -hmm. I love because I hate the pressure of getting the thing on the belt and the people behind you pushing their shit mm -hmm. on. And they mm -hmm. unloaded the belt, the cart. They put the cart, you know, along there. You don't touch it. You, sh they sh you show them the card. Mm -hmm. And then they got plastic all along the, 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 the place between you and the, the cashier guy mm -hmm. and the lady there. And then they got a little slot right by where that you usually pay for the, you know, the mm -hmm. punch in your card. Yeah. You don't even use that. They put the card reader at the end of the, the aisle. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I go down there to put my card in, they will back off like six feet. Wow. And then I use my card. Mm -hmm. And then they say, okay, you done? I say, yep. And they move back over and start us finish, finishing put, the card. Did you have to put the stuff in your in your bags, however? No, they your... put it all in there. Oh, really? And then they hand the receipt through the little slot in the uh, plastic. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I, uh, thank you. Have a nice day. And then I walk out. And as you walk out where they do the check your receipt thing, mm -hmm. the guy's standing in a booth. And there's a big piece of plastic there, and you hold <laughs> your receipt up to the plastic, <coughs> and he looks at it, and he goes, "Okay, have a good day." And then they count you on the way out. You don't touch or see anybody. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I thought it was going to be, you know, a big petri dish, and it was pretty nice actually. Costco is pretty organized. Aren't yeah, it they? sounds and like they were wiping shit down all over the place. Yeah. Wow. It was like a hospital. Oh, well, maybe I should go then. I've been I've yeah. been paying somebody it to go do it. Wasn't bad at all. Now I'm I'm not I'm not in a big you know city area. It was you know in Gilroy. It wasn't a big city. And when I left, I thought, oh shit, I'm going to see all kinds of people because by the time I left, it was after old guy's hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, there was probably I'd say 15 people in line waiting to get in. Yeah. And that was like at 9:30. Oh, that's not terrible. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Was everybody covered? As five people would walk out, five people would walk in. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. one of Of course, here's how you can throw a real wrench into that whole system. Uh, I want to buy a TV set. <laughs> <laughs> they probably still do it. I'd it's like to see deal. how they can do that, you know. Jeff had a question. Yes, oh, I was Jeff. looking at an Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what they told you to do? What? You, buy, you take a picture of the Apple Watch you want, and you take it to the counter, and they take care of it that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. What were you going to say, Jeff? Yeah, uh, Kevin, did, did were you covered on your face? Yeah, I had a cover on my face and gloves. Oh, by the way, all Costco's now are requiring that anyone yeah. who goes into a Costco has to wear a mask. I saw one guy walking around without a mask in there, but they had the signs all over saying you had to wear masks. It's but funny. I don't think it was required today. But as of tomorrow, I think they're all required. It's funny how Unless times. Have, it's it's funny though how times have changed because because in the old days, if you went into Costco <laughs> wearing a mask, they called the cops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. You know. Yes, but finish yeah, what you were saying, Jeff. Guy. Jeff, finish what you were I, saying. I said the vice president is allowed to yeah. get in. Yeah, he's allowed. Yeah, to get yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, Phil. I went to hardware today. I had to get some keys made and buy a lock. And uh, so uh, I'm I'm standing in the line. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they got marks on the floor six feet apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm standing on the line. And there's this guy. He looks like he's trying to cut in. So I said, are you in front of me? He says, no. And so I said, OK. And, you know, he's like within a foot of uh, my shoulder. And so I said to the guy, I said, you know, you're supposed to be six feet back. And, and he grumbles. And so I said, get six feet back now. <laughs> and he moved. You know? All right. <laughs> so I said, I'm not going to get sick because you grumble. Get the fuck back. And, and I was really tough with this guy because he was about 85. But well, you could have taken him. Okay. Anyway, maybe, but but the question is, the question is, how do you feel? Learned, so. How do you how do you, how do you how do you feel, Phil, about uh, um, uh, about about the fact that some of these people are going? Oh, it's my rights, and I you're, you're you know, I oh, I'm fine with it. You know, if if they want to go to if they want to go and they want to you know social distance or even if they don't you know and they want to they want to fuck themselves up, let them do yeah, it. Yeah, but they're going to fuck us up in the process. Yeah, they're going to make us people sick. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I that's what that's what. If you do what you got to do, uh, you know, I say you know I don't have to go to their restaurant. I don't have to go to their candy store. I don't have to go to the places they are. I don't have to go to their gas station, uh, you know. I no, can... but but they they are because they're not social distancing because they feel their rights are being impinged upon. You could be walking down the street and they could be within no. two why, inches of you. Why did they? Why do you think that they wouldn't social distance just because they don't want their civil rights being taken? Because from them? they don't believe in social distancing. They don't believe in staying home. They don't believe in sheltering in place. Well, that's true, but it's an assumption that they're not uh, following uh, protocol. Those protesters were. Those protesters weren't. No. Uh, I, I've seen some that were, and some. No, that they weren't. weren't. Oh, they were they all weren't. on top of each other. They were. I saw one run up to a reporter and shout in his ear. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I listen, I don't care if you want to kill yourself. That's okay. If you want to take a risk with your life, fine, but don't take a risk with mine. You know, the protests are one thing, but if somebody, you know, opens up a, a non-essential business or, or something like that, the haircutting place, mm -hmm. and they don't, and, uh, you know, of course, most of these people will practice, uh, uh, you know, good protocol. Uh, the reason being is that they want their customers to live. But on the other hand, it's up to me whether I decide to go get a haircut or not or, uh, you know, or get a pedicure or a manicure. Uh, you know, it's I'm not forced to do that. Yeah. And that's someone's decision. Let them if they make that decision to do it, let them do it. Well, but, but you know, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that what we're talking about here is that in countries, for instance, where they have relaxed these stay in place things. All of a sudden, the rate is going back up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I, I so that herd uh, the herd uh, uh, virus, not herd mentality. herd immunity. You're talking herd, about and the herd immunity yeah. only implies to being vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. If, it, if it, can you, it, yeah. Brian, do you have any word about what herd immunity is? No, this this was what you were talking about last night. I listened to the show yesterday. I didn't hear, but but yeah, the Sweden has about two thousand, and I don't know what the per capita is, but the Sweden has two thousand deaths, mm. and Finland two hundred and six, Norway two hundred and six. Yeah, so even though Big they difference. relaxed their stuff, they had a lot of deaths. So they and a lot of them were nursing homes also. Mm. So that's one of the big things when this happens, you know, really mm. got to focus on that instead. Yeah. But herd, uh, herd herd immunity isn't like if uh, people don't get, you know, <clears throat> people get infected and then they infect other people and whatever. And then all eventually everybody becomes immune because it's a herd immunity. That's not what it is. It applies to. When you give uh, a, what do you call it uh, uh, vaccines uh, to the whole population, that's herd immunity. Well, they're they're saying that if they all get it, then uh, they may not get it again. But who knows if that's a fact? We don't know that's a fact. We don't we don't know we know so little about this disease. Can you can I'm sorry, but can you hear my fan? No, no. Uh, but I, I I can't imagine you have a fan. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Even I mean, if you do, I'd like to meet him, you know. Uh, and oh, now man. the sound of one hand <laughs> clapping. <laughs> you imagine he has groupies, Alex? That would be funny. Yeah, it'd be funny. Well, someone yeah. really hate him on your page. I laugh when they really talk about him. Yeah. He gets under their skin. <laughs> what's, what's, what's Phil's, who's Phil's groupie? Oh, she's Charlene. No, thank you, Charlene. <laughs> Let me do a joke at your expense. Uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Yep, does. <laughs> so I kind of got some information from my daughter mm -hmm. the other day, which which you guys might be interested in. She works for Massachusetts Medical School. Mm -hmm. And they finally decided, because they got rid of all the doctors. Yeah. They said anybody who's who could have been a doctor this year, mm -hmm. you're, you're now a doctor. You're now a doctor. Yeah, they're doing you're that. You're now yeah. a doctor. Get to work. Right. Okay. Right. So they they did that right away. Next thing is, they decided to put fifty people, or I think it's five hundred people, who are actually out of job, out of work, because they had nothing to do. Yeah. Just yeah. nothing to do. So, but a lot of people are losing jobs, who kind of had them for a while. Yeah, there was a lot of ones who didn't have jobs right away. So okay. they're not going and doing COVID stuff. They're uh, just being released to to work, and there's no work. There's no work. There's nothing to do. Just the the medical school is basically it doesn't exist right now today. Yeah, in Massachusetts. Yeah, <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, is Harvard the one that you're associated with, or Yale, uh, the the one that you go to for? Uh, yeah, I go to Yale. Yeah. Okay. It was Harvard that took the money and doesn't want to give it back, right? The mm -hmm. e money. I don't know about that, but I do know that that Yale is having pretty good success on uh, getting patients who come in and get to rather than dying, they actually go home. Wow. By the so way, I have. I don't a, know what they're doing. So their cure rate is high. I have a PBS uh, News Hour. Um, uh, poll that was taken, and you you guys probably may may not be able to see it on your screen. Well, if you're watching, looking at YouTube, it'll come up in a minute or so. But here it is for our audience. Uh, the question was, do you think it's a good or bad idea to do each of the following without further testing for the coronavirus? Uh, um, have students return to school? 14% said it was a good idea. They're probably so crazed by their kids being home and being stuck with them for all of the six weeks. The bad idea, 85%, unsure 1%. Have people return to work, 32% uh, said it was a good idea. 65% said a bad idea. And 3% said unsure. 
uh, allow large groups of people to attend sporting events. Uh, 8% thought that was a good idea. 91% felt that was a terrible idea. 1% were unsure. And uh, finally, open restaurants for people to eat uh, in them. And 19% said it was a good idea. 80% said a bad idea. You can see here who's going to be doing business and who isn't going to be doing business. And uh, let's see here. And uh, and 1%, of course, said uh, they were unsure. Now, the next question in this poll is, who's doing a better job of handling the coronavirus pandemic, President Trump or your governor? (laughs) National <laughs> adults, 32%, 32% felt it was President Trump, 64% felt it was your governor, and 3% were unsure. Now, in the Northeast, which would be where we are and where Cuomo holds sway, they said 27% for Trump, 72% for the governors. Uh, in the Mideast, 29% for Trump, 68%. For the governors. Uh, in the South, 38% for Trump, 57% your governor, and in the West, 31% felt President Trump was doing a, a better job, and 68% felt their governor was. So that's what we got, okay? In Texas, is none of the above. 3% of them. <laughs> What? Percent, the one percent, uh, the, the ones that thought Biden was doing a better job. No, they didn't. This was not mentioned with Biden. So anyway, it's that's uh, that's a little less statistic, folks. If you want one, well, um, you know, it's the governors that are actually doing what needs to be done in the states. Hmm. Uh, it's the federal government that has to support them, but it's the governors that make the decision as to uh, what to do or what not to do. Yeah, but the and governors the, the governors aren't being supported by the government. Well, that's what's going on in Georgia. You know, the, the governor wants to open up. Trump said he didn't think it was such a good idea, uh, but the guy opened up anyway. You know, uh, tattoo parlors, uh, I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. Is he a Republican or a Democrat, that governor? He's a Republican. He's a Republican. And, really? Yeah, he resisted uh, uh, Trump's uh, suggestion. And all it could be is a suggestion because it's up to the governor's to decide whether they're going to open yeah, up. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, this whole thing about uh, Trump going, oh, you know, uh, the governors are, it's their choice to do this and their choice to do that and so on and so forth. And that's fine. It absolutely yeah. is uh, by state's rights. But on the other hand, he's trying to pass the buck if this thing fails. Not necessarily. It is. It he is, always, know, he, got, he, Phil, he always tries to find somebody to blame for his, pro, for his faults. He got Dick stepped on about two weeks ago when he said, uh, it, you know, I I decide whether they open, they close, they do this or they do that. And he got put in his place and mm-hmm. he said, no, no, the governor's decide. Well, okay, that cut so, off his, if that, if that got his dick stuff. stepped up on, his dick was cut off with his remarks about taking deter, uh, the, uh, uh, disinfectants uh, into your system by injection. Said that. Yes, he have, did. Have, yes, he have, did. How many here heard the president say uh, that? I've got the transcript. Uh, well, you've I'll, got the transcript. I've got the video. I don't have it ready to roll here. He said we should try it. We should try it. Well, yeah, I, I, he said I we should try well, it. You know, it's going to be tough on what that. Got because, to uh, what do we got here? We got eight people. So that means that seven of you are are you know going to have a tough time with that shit. <laughs> if you really think you should try it. But no, Phil, he definitely, I mean, we all heard him say it, you know. You heard what you wanted to hear. Uh, hey, what do you mean I heard what I wanted, wanted to hear? There was the, uh, the, the suggestion that, uh, that uh, what, what if we take this and we do that and we do this and we do that? Would well, you think you, you should look into that? And he looks at this doctor who goes, I don't want to piss yeah. off the president. He goes, okay, well, look into it, you asshole. Hey, you know. that's not what he said. He says, why can't they come up with something that works Ryan. as Bill, none of those people tried to inject themselves or try to swallow the Lysol either, right? You that did. We heard about on this. <laughs> so I'm still here. I, I didn't have to get my stomach well, pumped to go to the hospital. <laughs> uh, Charlene, it's because you didn't swallow. 
Uh, but that's not. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's bad, Phil. Uh, Bree, uh, Bree you know. is out there. He's writing on our chat board, but he's not calling. And I don't know why he's not calling. You should call, Bree. You didn't we, get we, his hair done. Look, at, I, look up my hair. Look question. at my hair. Look at this. Look can at I that. ask a question? Huh. Kevin mentioned um, look at that thing Tony's. Is called is the pandemic. That thing about uh, why uh, oh, uh, Corona is not like uh, H1N1 or like Ebola and all that. So I try to go on Netflix to try to watch that today. And I blame my son for jamming up the Wi-Fi. When Netflix is like, if too many people are watching it, does it flash? Because I thought I was losing my mind. I couldn't get onto my Netflix. Is that, is that what happens when that happens? You know, too many people. Yeah. Well, it depends on oh, no whether son? you're getting just paid a bill. You mean you, 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 how he how fast? My son does the gaming and he and he pulls all the the you know. The well, I mean, the question right? is how much him? how much bandwidth you you buy every month, how much you're you're in yeah. for. Like uh, here, oh, I oh, never I game. never have that the other problem. Other movies, yeah, you're gonna get nailed down. <laughs> I, I got to get him to move out and get his own bandwidth. And <laughs> Either that or just that just go call your uh, call your uh, supplier and up your well, I, up I your bandwidth. That one night. Up your I got a girl in Mexico. Uh, will you she listen to me, Charlene? Oh, okay. Charlene, <laughs> will you listen to me for a second? Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> All I said was call your cable company or whoever your supplier is. And tell them you want to buy more bandwidth and add a little more bandwidth to your to your pipe. Is that like Indica and Sativa? Something like that. Yeah. Of course, yeah. it'll cost more money. But. Well, I was supposed to get this amazing router that was supposed to be, you know, better. It, was well, it doesn't matter router, how good your router is. But if, I didn't get it. Yeah. If you, I, they didn't, it didn't come, and or I was supposed to go pick it up or something. But then COVID yeah. hit, so I think that did it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it send got it to lost. <laughs> But I think well, it never showed up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, I'll have to call him again. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, that's you know, I mean, uh, uh, bandwidth is something you can buy more of, and if you're using too much of it, then you know, just buy some more. It, you, know, you can buy it in increments, so you don't have to pay a hell of a lot more to get a decent amount more. I have an insane amount. I have like they call it the gigabyte. Although it isn't a gigabyte, but it's, just, it's about a gig up and a gig down. Neighbor. What? Well, that's what I thought I had. I had a lot, I thought. And geez, how much do I need for my son with that stuff? God. Boy, boy Tony. And he doesn't contribute. Oh, oh, okay, he doesn't sure. Up. All right, all right, all right. I get thrown Yeah, I uh, got you, disconnected. You got disconnected, but there's, there's two times you got disconnected. Yes, yeah, maybe, maybe my wife likes to turn it off. You turn should pay for more Wi Fi, damn it. Yeah, I got a lot. <laughs> what do you have? Do you have Fios? Yeah, I got Fios. Oh, so you got at least two hundred up, two hundred down, I think, just minimum. So yeah, I have a lot. Yeah. yeah, so that that should take care of you. Your mother playing games. Mm. Thank God she's sleeping. <laughs> God, she was making me feel ahead before. Am I warm? You're cold, for Christ's sake. I give her a PM. I hope she's out for the night. Yeah, she was up there night all night. Yeah. I'll give her a lie Tony. Does she worry? She doesn't Alex, sleep. I don't sleep. Well, Alex, you weren't a little concerned that De Blasio was out picking up Jews on the street uh, yesterday, and you were out. For, you know, oh, I hate those Hasidim. Hmm? I, 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 I hate. I hate you. Huh? <laughs> oh, Alex. Come on, don't tell me you like liked them when you were in New York. Come on. Oh no, they throw rocks they're, at your car. They're you miserable want. people. They, on a Saturday. They're miserable people. <laughs> and so this rabbi dies, and they all go out in full force, a couple of hundred of them, all ignoring social distancing. And yeah. by the way, I might add that in that Orthodox community, the rate of infection is quite high. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, these guys are helping to make me sick. Fuck you. Well, yeah. Alex, what kind of strange masks do they have on some of them? Like Halloween type masks, like plastic masks or something. I saw some of them. I no, they were just they wearing. They were just very wore, funny looking masks. No, they were wearing normal masks. They're pious. They were w w wearing the normal masks. You know. Yeah. And what did someone yeah, call them? One of the tweets they called them something. What was the name they used for them? Oh, the I can't. I wish I knew. Well, what they're, they're, they're Hasidim. 
No, but they they called them like a Hasidic. Like maybe a derogatory. Lebab Lebabachers. I thought term. they were the Lebabachers. They yeah. were the yeah. Lebabachers. I, mm -hmm. I lived in Rockland County for a while, Spring Valley, and that's oh, uh, well. a, a big Hasidic uh, community. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, didn't the leader of the Lubavitchers die, but then now there's a new guy that took over or something? Well, I think they had some rabbis just die, and that was a big uh, deal. Another but, guy? Because yeah. that Billy, other guy died, and now this guy died? Oh. Billy Bobbitcher. It's always a new guy. Yeah. Well, one last guy to sell hi-fi. <laughs> hey, hi-fi. To sell, to sell big screen TVs so at B&H. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones that get on the school buses, and they go into the... Jewelry district or whatever, right? The yeah, whatever it is that yeah. Yeah, they, were, they all they kill each other. It's like yeah. Anybody remember when this guy Shlomo Tall years ago disappeared? I think I remember. Oh yeah, that, Alex. What they don't know. That? They don't know what happened to him, but you know, he wanted to screw it. Well, I better not talk about him this way. I might be in trouble. You know. I, yeah. Right. I, I, uh, I was at Brooklyn College. Now, this is not to, by the way, let's not make this the same as uh, Jews who are uh, highly religious, okay? This is a certain sect of Jews, right? Yeah, they came out of the 17th century. Yeah. But uh, I, I was at uh, Brooklyn College back in the uh, late 60s, uh, mm -hmm. sitting a friend, and I was sitting in his economics class, and the guy said, you want to join the JDL? I said, Sure. He says, what's your name? I said, Lee Phillips. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Meyer Kahani. So the, but the, the, the thing that's... Meyer Kahani, uh, Meyer Kahani came to my show once. Really? When I was at WPLJ, uh, WMCA. And, and, he, and he, no, he was sitting in the lobby, <laughs> and they said, uh, this guy wants to be on your show. And I said, who is he? And he said, Meyer Kahani. I said, send him home. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I didn't want him on my show. He got yeah. shot. Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, the the thing is, is De Blasio. Uh, there's a uh, there's a Muslim holiday coming up, and De Blasio is offering uh, thousands of uh, of food, uh, meals that he will deliver uh, to uh, these uh, the different mosques that uh, the Muslims are going to be going to for mm -hmm. a certain holiday. I think it could be Ramadan. I, I thought it was over, but... Ramadan's uh, coming maybe up. Don't they fast then? Uh, Ra Ramadan's coming up. So, uh, you know, so it's just, you know, here he wants to round up the Jews, and he's saying, you know, we're going to arrest you if you're on the street. And over <laughs> there, he's sending them food packages. So, you know, what's... Mixed message. Well, you know, I mean, de Blasio is an idiot. I, I'm not that crazy about de Blasio, you know. Uh, I'm a big fan of of, of our governor, well, however, uh, who has done a, just an absolutely incredible job. You know, he's and, awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, he, he really got me yesterday when he said, "Listen, I got to tell you, I got onto this thing later than I should have. I got onto it a week earlier. Might have saved a lot of lives." You don't hear Trump ever say something like that or blame himself for something or take the blame for anything. Get on earlier. Huh? It's because Trump did get on it earlier. Oh, yeah, sure he did. <laughs> sure enough. He did. Sure he did. But <laughs> no, he, get on no he was told by the army in January that well, this was going to be a problem. And, and, when and he, he didn't do anything to... about it. And forget about that Chinese. We, I, I stopped the Chinese from coming over here. The fact he, is, they simply went the other direction and came here to New York, through well, London, and, through and Paris, and through and Italy. Blasio, huh? oh, the, oh. the Blasio and uh, Nancy Pelosi and all of those people were saying, "Hey, you know, this virus, it's nothing." And and they were coming off the same information Trump was getting. Now, once there was uh, a death in Seattle. Uh, no, I, to begin with, to begin with, you're misquoting Pelosi. You love to misquote yeah, I Pelosi. Take, I you just don't want to hear it. I saw, I, you I, sent I, me the video of of her, and I heard what she said. All she was trying to do was to calm the Chinese down from thinking that their lives were going to be in peril from people who thought they were responsible for this disease. Now, you know, I have an order Chinese since it's holding time. Time. Nobody knew what the extent of the disease was going to be. Phil, Phil, what Phil. Do you know? The the army did, and the, uh, the military almost. did, and in their daily briefing, they told Trump, and he didn't do anything about it. Uh, Phil, he didn't do anything about it till March. 
Brian's got his hand up. Yes, Brian. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think it was on Monday's. I think it was on Monday's press conference. He actually, you know, they they got the question out to him about yeah, but forty thousand people still came from China, and he says, well, yeah, those were American citizens. What are you going to do? Right. You know? But they, every press conference, he says that he stopped everything from China, but he did let people back in. No, and the forty thousand were, were the forty. The forty thousand weren't all Americans trying to get in here, because right. I know because I have people who work with my wife who are yeah. from China who were coming over here during that period of time. You know, no, he didn't do anything. He slowed the traffic down, but that was because he wanted to get at the Chinese. And then they simply said, well, then we'll go to London, we'll go to Paris, we'll go to Germany, we'll go to Italy, and we'll take off from there and go to the United States. And then they landed here in New York, and voila, why are we the most infected city in the world? Because okay. your governor didn't do anything <laughs> quick enough, and he didn't, neither did oh, your mayor. Oh, and also your governor allowed people to go into uh, the assisted living homes that had the uh, COVID virus, and uh, and they housed them there, and they ended up infecting other people. Where, uh, where did risk. you hear this? It's, it's common. What do, mean, what do you mean it's common? Where did you hear this, Phil? I hear it in the news. Well, the, not the news I'm watching. Oh, because you news, listen to the Communist yeah. News Network. No, I watch Fox. <laughs> I watch all of them. I even, okay, I, even, you, you, I, I, even, I even watch Newsmax, and I didn't hear that. Well, then you're not listening for it. I watch it. And oh, I'm, I see. Now we know where you're getting your information. I don't from the yeah. because I'm too cheap to pay for the uh, subscription. But there is uh, no, there is no subscription. Yeah, I thought you had to sign up no, for news. No, I get it here on my cable. Yeah, your funny way. No, my unfunny way. I, uh, I, I don't get it on my because uh, I have uh, YouTube TV. Oh, well, anyway, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is that our governor was only about a week late to the party, okay, and he feels bad about that, okay? That's a leader. That's a leader. Yeah. A leader, a leader admits when he's wrong and no blame. And God forbid that Donald Trump should ever say he did anything wrong. Trump tried to close the borders in 2016. What borders? Yeah. Oh, they're speeding in Queens again. They're speeding in Queens again. Is that your... Mm -hmm. Either that or... No, Trump. that was me. No, that was me. Well, oh. oh uh, was, I was going to think... Right. I was going to say, or somebody <laughs> farted. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... Um, um, uh, you know, it, it, the question <clears throat> really is when... Like, for instance, we're not getting off of this stay-in-place anytime soon here in New York City. It's for That's for damn sure. Upstate, he may loosen things up a little bit because he says upstate is different. Upstate is more like the Midwest, you know. These are two entirely different states. I mean, you're up to, up to, up, upstate, uh, you're pretty rural. Nice. Whereas uh, here in Manhattan, you're this is as cosmopolitan and as closely meshed as you can get. I think the reason Italy had such a problem is... Have you ever seen Rome? Rome is worse than New York when it comes to social distancing. You know. Yeah, the, yes, uh, yes, Phil. The Bay Area counties just relaxed uh, the construction uh, pr protocol, so now we're allowed to do residential uh, units, uh, units up to a hundred units, and commercial jobs up to twenty thousand square feet, with no restrictions uh, other than you have to have a COVID meeting. You have to have a, a, a leader uh, that uh, conducts the meeting, and you have to supply people. And are they, they said that if, uh, if they see the numbers start going up, they're going to pull back on that? Uh, no, there was nothing in that thing, and it came out. Uh, it, it, because it, I, I'm, uh, just, I'm just waiting to see how many of these states that pull back suddenly realize they made a big mistake. Well, uh, you know, uh, I can only speak for the Bay Area counties that uh, that are now, and Marin is one of them, and Contra Costa. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'll be able to work. I mean, you got to remember that San Francisco only dodged the bullet because they went, they closed things down early and told people to stay indoors early. Now, if they relax that, what is going to happen? 
Well, uh, do you want to take do you want thing that's you, happening on your uh, you know, will happen on BART that's happening on your subways right now? What, what, the, what's uh, that have to do with it? I'm not, well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about you relax the rules. OK, what is going to happen? Because it was tightening up those rules early that prevented a real outbreak in Northern California. Why did they tighten those rules? Uh, I can answer that. They oh, tightened them no, you because can't because you, you, you don't know shit. Overwhelmed. They wanted the hospitals to be able to handle the number of patients that would be coming in. It wasn't to stop people from getting the virus. It was just so that the hospitals wouldn't be overwhelmed. Well, the hospitals aren't overwhelmed. So, therefore, <coughs> the in place worked, and it's time to open so it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, say what, say that again, Charlie. Because uh, oh, hospitals weren't overwhelmed, so what the hell? Let's overwhelm them. No, that's not necessarily what's going to happen. But yeah, it's uh, happen in Texas. Uh, even New York. Uh, 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 Will you let Charlie uh, finish? Or the mayor said that Will once. Will you let Charlie finish? The beds reach thirty percent. Phil, will you let Charlie finish? No, you didn't. He was still talking. I just said uh, we're going to get the hospitals overwhelmed in Texas because they're sending everybody back to work on Friday. Mm. Yeah. So. Well, we'll see. You know, it, it, but uh, for instance, in New York, they said w that once the beds reach uh, a thirty percent use, that's when they're going to open up. No, uh, no New when York. they're thirty percent empty. Yeah, thirty. Okay. 30%. They've got to. They've got to maintain thirty. The, he's he applied this to upstate because downstate they're not at thirty percent. But he said upstate some of those hospitals will have thirty percent of their beds available. As mm -hmm. long as they have that, they've got the cushion that if they, he he described it as opening a spigot, okay, and then seeing what the water pressure is. And if they find that things are happening, they back off. They can afford to do that when they have a 30-bed buffer, in a 30% buffer in a, in a hospital. But they, down, down state here, um, these hospitals are still pretty, pretty full, you know. Uh, why are they closing them? They're not closing uh, them. And, uh, and, um, well, they don't uh, need, they, they, it turns oh. out that because of our staying in place and our social distancing and our staying home, that we didn't need Javits quite like we needed it, although we did use 1,200 beds there. Mm. You know, and, so it, and like, to my knowledge, not. Javits is still open, but the question is how long can we keep it open because, well, J it might be that if we open up other things, Javits might be needed for other stuff. Javits is 2,900 beds? No, I think it's 2,400, if 24. I believe. Yeah. All right. He sent so, the ship back, you know. But the fact is, is that uh, we are not, uh, we don't have that 30% uh, buffer in these hospitals here. Is the uh, Jesus Hospital across the street from Mount Sinai still open? I don't know. I haven't heard anything from them lately, you know. The tents from your house? I, I, I No, I can't, no. I used to see them when I went to the, uh, if I <clears throat> wanted to go to my doctor's office, my oncologist's office, but... Uh, Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going over there anytime soon. I'm, I don't uh, want to get near that hospital. What? Yeah, and you you were asking me uh, the other day about the drone. Uh, it was the Chelsea area where uh, Stoney was flying his drone and taking pictures. Well, he's not supposed to. Yeah, well, uh, he said the Chelsea area you can. So there's some other areas you can. No, you can't in Chelsea. You can't over Manhattan, anywhere in Manhattan. Wow. You can't even do it in Central Park, yeah, um, I, unless I you go. That. Unless you're a TV crew and you go get a permit to do it, mm. okay. But without a permit, you're you you're not supposed to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, he'll yeah. have the the film, so he'll uh, when he sends it to me, I'll send it to you. He said the streets were really empty. Well, you told me the other day. You said the streets what? weren't empty. They weren't down where. Uh, you know Washington Square in that area, but Chelsea area, he said was was empty. Yeah, yeah, and so is Times Square. If you want to go to the Times Square cam they've got online, it's like dead. yeah. He he did some f uh, video there, but not not okay. uh, drone video. Well, here let me talk to other people. So Kevin, how are you holding up? Eh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yep. Yeah. Got out. 
to go to Costco and went home. Yeah, you say your mother <laughs> your mother is okay? Yeah, she passed her test and she's okay and she's happy and she's in lockdown. Yeah, when you said she passed her test, I for a moment my heart sunk. <laughs> to be very you, you know, huh? When you said she passed her test. No, 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 no. She passed her test. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was negative. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just you that know, it took I a week to get the damn thing. That's all. Yeah. But what? You know, I, have a, I have a mother, and she goes to dialysis uh, three times a week. And when she shows up, they That's shoot near Fort her with Worth, a monitor isn't it? in the forehead. Oh, okay. So, like, if she uh, gets tested and they find that she has yep. any antibodies, are they going to quarantine her if they if mm -hmm. they do something like that? Mm -hmm. They would? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. She's going to freak out. Charlene, they're not going to find antibodies yeah. for taking her temperature. No, no, I mean if they were to do a COVID test, because they test her for everything. Well, if, if, if she has antibodies, that means that she had it and now she doesn't have it, and that she is perhaps immune. So okay. the, the, they just leave her alone. That would be good? Or? Yeah, but they're not going to find that she has antibodies. It's, mm -hmm. I, I doubt that unless she's come down with it. Right. You know, although there's some people who are asymptomatic and they don't know they've had it, and they, uh, uh, they, yes, Phil. Brian, with the testing that they're doing now, they're opening up testing all over the place. Are your machines starting to uh, show up in the state testing areas? Um, I don't know how many additional test units we've been sending out, but um, I mean, <clears throat> it's just like just like anything else we talked about before. You have to have our system to be able to test you know, our, our product. Yeah. Well, because uh, what I kept asking I, is what, what machine were you using? What kind of test you getting? Cause I know somebody, has a, I was yeah. trying to figure out what, but I think they were doing them in batches of 25 or 50. So it was probably one of the other bigger machines. Yeah. Yeah. yeah probably one of the other ones. Yeah. So <laughs> like the, like the, they showed on 60 minutes where they said they just got those and that was military government stuff. So, um, we may be prioritizing some of those, some of those areas. I know for the, I know when I was looking at the numbers for our cartridges, we had about 30% going to New York, 30% in California, then they're sort of spread out, uh, and they are definitely going by the hot spots. Yeah, so. and I know it was the nose swab, so that was good. I knew it was that, that test, which was yeah. the one I wanted her to take. Yeah. Well, my friend took one in Fremont, and they did it, and then they gave you the results like a day later. Mm -hmm. So I was just wondering, you know, maybe it's your test that they're using and not uh, the one that gives you in five minutes. Yeah, they, they should be giving it pretty quick. We have Actually, we have an HIV store in London where you have a do doctor's note, and you walk in, and they'll you take the sample, you go into a room, take the sample, put it in there, and you put it in this thing, and it shoots, you know, like those banker things where it shoots up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and goes into this laboratory in the back and the person leaves and then about an hour later about two hours later he'll they'll get a text people will get a text if you're hiv positive or not wow so we, we've been trying to get into walgreens and everything so it's sort of good to hear them talk the other day you know with the president saying that they're trying to get some of these tests in there and that's what we're definitely trying to ramp up well, isn't, isn't, isn't a big problem excuse me phil for interrupting you uh, if you're allowed once in a while yeah um, uh, it, it, the, isn't the big uh, clusterfuck around all of this that, that each of these different tests need a different machine, in other words, from each different company? Shouldn't yep. somehow those companies be forced? I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of like a printer, and you got to buy their ink cartridges. His is proprietary. You know? Phil, let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, it's kind of like ink car like like printers, where you got to buy their ink cartridges because no other ink cartridges will work in it. Um, yeah. it, it I, shouldn't there be some kind of standardization so that all these people are on the same playing field? No. Then you'll get a glut. Just buy our products. <laughs> <laughs> we're all private. We were all privately owned companies at the beginning. Yeah. No matter if it's Abbott or Russia. And then when they grow and grow and grow, I mean, our, our, our stuff is so special to the system. Mm -hmm. You know, when it goes in there, we have all the UV light where we're trying to multiply the DNA inside mm -hmm. after everything gets, you know, the process goes through. So everything is self-contained in our process where they may have to do some lab stuff outside of the process. And that's why they take so long. Our stuff is so quick <clears throat> because we do everything inside the cartridge. Yeah. Well, I, that has 
very particular to the to the instrument. It's very particular to our cartridges. Yeah. If that has UV light, do you think it? Uh, I could swallow it and uh, it would get rid of the virus. Up the butt. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> what's the Lysol in first? <laughs> What's the difference between the saliva and the one that goes up your nose? And then is there another kind too? Yeah, it because just, there's so many different kinds. Like, yeah. Oh, tough. What? What did you say? Why are there so many different what, kinds? What, what did you say, Tony? Uh, my sister's friend's a nurse. She said, my sister said the one that goes up the nose. She told us because they had to test them. They said it goes all the way back. Like, yeah, the, to your brain. It's they said, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Up, it goes nose, back and it turns nose. down your your nostril yeah. down. In, into the sinus, I guess. Sinus. Yeah, it really goes all the way to the back, Alex. It sounds yeah. uncomfortable. Well, that sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. Yes, my uh, mom said. What, my yeah. mom said, "Oh, it's uh, uncomfortable." Uh, and she's 89 years old, and she says, "Just a, it's a little uncomfortable, and it's a bunch of wussies that wouldn't be able to go through it." And I go, "Oh, you talked about your president like that? <laughs> she goes, he's a big wussy." Yes, <laughs> Brian. Brian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I hear it's very uncomfortable, but. It's funny because when we were starting up as a company, we had other tests that we're doing for other diseases and stuff, and we have to sign off on all the documentation. Mm -hmm. So we would actually have stuff for the customer, like the, the program inserts. So you'd open that up, and we have to approve this, where they have like a picture of, a, of the swab for, for uh, stool samples. So they would say, like, here's one, and we had to have one picture that didn't have enough. And then you had one picture that had too much, and then you had one picture that had just enough shit or poop, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> on there. As it's just very funny when you open up documents, you'd be working hard all day, and then you have to approve the stuff. Well, I, really if, I suppose if we showed those pictures on uh, on this program, uh, I wouldn't get monetized. Right. Uh, I, so it's, you know. it's scientific. It's uh, it, yeah. now, Brian, your machine. They're talking about using DNA to determine whether you're susceptible to heart attack. Uh, are you coming up with those tests as well? Yeah, we've, we've been working on a lot of different stuff, uh, breast cancer, and strangely enough, even, yeah, so we, we've been working on a lot of different projects, and, and so, yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt that we are. Yeah. 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 Did you know anything that the genome can show? That's yeah. what we're trying to get into, so. Oh, that's great. Did you notice how Jeff is, is uh, you know, coughs into his elbow? Uh, yes, I noticed. Uh, nobody's around, but he coughs in his elbow. He's very nice to us. He's very good at that. <laughs> well, Alex, Alex. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at what he's got. Pull, pull, back pull back a little bit. Pull back just a little bit. Yeah, so I know it's hard to see sort of. But yeah, hold it right there. Right there is perfect. Yeah. yeah. G-A-M-H. Alex Bennett, it says. Yeah. yeah, it's my one of my shows, one of my Alex Bennett Presents. Yeah. From I was cleaning out my stuff while I've been at home. Yeah, this was uh, uh, April 26, 1991, Alex Bennett Presents at the Music Hall. This was the recession special. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah, and we're, we're in it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I have Frost Amphitheater, the comedy, South Bay Comedy Picnic, Dana Gould, oh. Emo Phillips, Rob Schimmel, Kevin Meany. So I've been going through all my old tickets, but you think, never have I, now I think, because everything's like I think Ellen right. DeGeneres was on that show, too. Really? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, that's when I was a big concert promoter as well. Uh, and we did some pretty... That one had 9,000 people at it at the Frost Amphitheater. So, oh, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are fun. That was a big one. Hey, listen, there goes the theme wow, song. it's wow. over Th already. Thank wow. God. Yeah, it's over already. Uh, yeah, uh, enough. Uh, it's been the Phil Meyer show for the last couple of hours, uh, and yeah, I, have, yes. I can't ask I can't ask Brian a question. You have to ask him all the questions. I thought I was doing the interviewing here. Anyway, uh, nice to have you on, Alex. Uh, uh, good to be here. Maybe I, maybe I'll call tomorrow night too. By the way, tomorrow night I got Stephen Pearl on, but different than usual. I actually have Stephen Pearl on video. We did it. By using Zoom, because that was something he could he could use. So uh, we'll cool. we'll have him on tomorrow night. Uh, so uh, you won't have to look down Scott. his throat. <laughs> no, no, you won't have to look at that animation going. For, 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 <laughs> hey, thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, uh, Charlene. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Tony. And thank you to me. Uh, hey. Uh, why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye back at you. 
and then everybody else will wave at their at their computer and say goodbye to you, and then they'll say goodbye to them, and uh, that's it for tonight. Yeah, we'll be back again uh, t tomorrow. But next is Jack Bishop. He's here with the intersection. You can call him and be part of the citizen panel. Uh, he would love to hear from you. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow night, same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.